Hello everyone and welcome back. I've been driving this TT now for a week and there's just one more thing I've got to do. So yes, hello everyone, thank you very much for joining me once again. So for the last week, this car has been done and I've been driving at every opportunity I can. So as soon as I get home, I'll take it out for a spin, probably go to the shop, make sure everything is okay. So I've been doing that for two reasons really. One, make sure that there is no untoward noises, make sure everything is running as it should. And B, just make sure the battery and everything is completely charged fully, make sure it doesn't die. And yeah, just make sure the car is 100%. However, on Wednesday, I ended up sitting at a junction for a little while and I noticed some steam coming from the front, and I mean the very front, right here at the grill. I've had a quick peek through the grill and it looks as though I may have a small hole in the radiator. So, I went on to eBay straight away and I picked a new one up. This was only £25. Brand spanking new. I couldn't believe it how cheap that was. So, whilst I was there, I decided to buy a new coolant bottle as well because the one on the car originally is completely filthy it's disgusting still from when somebody had put that horrible k seal type crap into the coolant system so again this is only a tenner so for the sake of 35 pound i thought let's get this completely perfect so gonna fit this and the new radiator so let's get cracking Okay, so first things first, I'm not 100% sure whether I'll be able to get away with just taking this slam panel off and getting access to the radiator that way, whether I'm going to have to remove the whole bumper. So the only way I'm going to do this is by taking this off first and then go from there. I'll never tell, never tell, just trust that I'll keep it locked in a cell. Never revealing no secrets you're keeping These promises strong as a spell I'll never tell Yeah, I like you, that's for sure Never have to close the door Been a long time, a year before And I'm missing you so bad Gone away, a month or more Every show I go before I need to hear that voice Cause right now it feels like it's been too long I could never let, let you go Go on thinking Secrets you're keeping these promises strong as a spell. I'll never tell. Okay, so yes, the answer to that is basically the entire front end off. I've completely forgotten that this slam panel wasn't just a, a, a piece here, it is connected to the entire front end. This crash bar and everything is all connected to the front end. And then the rad packs are actually installed up against this. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drain the coolant and then hopefully we can start to take the rad out. I don't want to remove the air conditioning rad which is also attached to this so I just want to try and remove the coolant one if possible. So like I say first thing let's drain the coolant. Okay, so here we go. The old radiator is now out. You see these dark patches here, or these wet patches? I'm pretty sure this is where coolant was leaking and I can see steam coming off of. This rad is in absolutely horrific state anyway. As I went to remove the fan pack, I actually snapped it here. So it's a good job I bought a new one. Right, what I need to do now is swap this sensor over onto the new rad and then try and put it all back together. Wish me luck. You're keeping these promises strong as a spell I'll never Okay, so the rad pack is now back together so what i'm going to quickly do is replace the coolant bottle before i start filling it up with coolant so this is pretty simple all i've got is one bolt and two hoses so let's get cracking
Okay, so what we're going to do now is run the car up to temperature because the last thing I want to do is if I button everything back together, put the front bumper on, make sure everything's all done, and then I find out there's still a leak, I then have to take everything back off. So I'm going to run up to temperature now, make sure there's no leaks, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I've had the car running up temperature, everything seems like it's circulating really well, the interior is nice and hot, the fan has kicked in as well, and the coolant level has stayed at a reasonable level. So as far as I'm concerned, that's job done. All I've got to do now is put everything back together, starting with this crash bar, then the front bumper. So let's get cracking. Okay, so hopefully that really is the final thing to be replaced on this TT. Obviously, I've been driving it this week to make sure that something like this didn't happen for the new owner. And obviously, this car had been sat for like four years on a drive, so I half expected something like this to have gone wrong. Especially something like the radiator, because it hadn't really gone through many heat cycles. Me driving it four days this week, getting it up to temperature, and then obviously it cooling back down, has obviously given it enough of a reason to give up the ghost. So, like I said, hopefully that is it now. There will be no more videos on this TT. It's going to be up for sale as soon as the V5 arrives. And that will be it. Done. Dusted. So, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.